with comedian Dave Boyle and I'm quitting alcohol. So I'm just hanging on by a fucking thread at the moment. It's, what's the fucking time? It's like 3pm at the moment. I didn't sleep at all last night. I had to pull an all-nighter, otherwise I was going to be fucked. And I have to do the podcast now because I don't know if I'm going to last till 5 or 6 p.m. It has been a bruising day today. I was not tired at all, all morning. I left the house to get a kebab at 4 (laughs) a.m. Not on the way home from a fucking big night out. I mean, I was sitting on the couch reading a book and then I got hungry and I knew there was nothing in the fucking fridge or any fruit lying around. So I was like, fuck it. I'm going to get a kebab at 4 a.m. and some chips as well. So I left the house, jumped in the car and drove to the fucking kebab store and came back and I was done with my kebab by about 4.30. That's where I'm at psychologically as well. I'm just letting rip until I fucking get a proper night's sleep. I don't care what I have to do to stay awake. I just need to stay awake for a few more hours. I'm starting to get a little bit fucking loopy though. My thought processing isn't fucking very clear at the moment. I'm like one long blink away from just being asleep. I've been drinking teas all day. And they've been keeping me awake, but the cycles are getting shorter and shorter. I had one about 45 minutes ago, and I just had one 10 minutes ago. And I feel like I need another one already. But once I'm done with this, once I'm done with this, I can relax a little bit. But fuck, I can't do these all-nighters anymore. I'm so fucking out of it. I just can't bounce. And apparently you can't make up lost sleep either. You can't bank your sleep. You can't fucking... Like I can't sleep 16 hours and think that's going to cover me for this all-nighter. I just have to fucking accept that I'm going to die a little bit earlier because I did this all-nighter. Or maybe I'll cover it with something else like some exercise. Or I just won't eat McDonald's again. I don't mean ever, I mean I've eaten McDonald's twice already in the last like 48 hours. I mean I won't have it again a third time. That should cover the sleep, shouldn't it? That's something positive. I should be right after this. I was fucking, I was fine all the way up until daylight. As soon as daylight hit, I was fucking struggling. And then I just had to pound teas. I had to get my son to school. I had to fucking speak to his teacher as well. And she was like, oh, he's in my class again this year. And I was like, yeah, I know. And I think I said it in a way that was like disappointed that she was the teacher again. Because she was like, yeah, sorry. I'm like, nah, it doesn't matter. Whatever. And I also said that like, nah, it doesn't matter. (laughs) I said it like, yeah, you do suck, but it doesn't matter. We'll deal with it. It was an awkward encounter. I wish I'd just held strong yesterday. Although, fucking, I was fucked yesterday. But I tell you what, time flies when you're scrolling through fucking reels and shit on YouTube, Twitter, fucking Instagram. You don't know what the fuck's going on. You don't know which app you're in at any point in time. You're just like, feed me. I ended up watching like a 25-minute interview with Ayn Rand it was called the ideal man or something like that and I tell you what she is (laughs) one of the ugliest bitches I've ever seen in my entire life she can write a fucking sex scene in her books and I know how and why now it's because she's just sitting there just fucking going someone please for the love of god fuck me It's more lust, her thing. She's real good at describing lust. Which is something I guess I'm just taking a wild stab in the dark here that was missing from her life. A gaping fucking hole. But anyway, her being fucking ugly. (laughs) 
<laughs> being fucking like a one out of ten shouldn't detract from her writing. It doesn't. Does a little bit. That's why they never put photos of her in the fucking books. I gave her the benefit of the doubt as well. I was like, Ayn Rand, she's fucking old in this interview. She's got to be like 60-something here. I did account for that anyway. I wasn't like judging her as like a young chick. So I went back and I looked at a couple of photos when she was younger. Yeah, things weren't good then either. Anyway, that's enough (laughs) about how ugly Ayn Rand is because she's a brilliant mind. And I finished Atlas Shrugged and I want to do a whole episode on it when I'm fucking more coherent than this. But in this interview, I swear to God, she's such a fucking paradox because the fucking people who attack her, like the left, or what used to be the left, I don't even know what the fucking left is now, but the left fucking demonized her books and her philosophy and all that sort of shit. And you understand why, because the books are basically saying, you moralizing cunts are useless. Anyway... I'll go into more depth about fucking Atlas Shrugged later. But you listen to her in this interview, The Ideal Man, and her politics and ideology and philosophy is pretty much fucking smack bang fucking first year, second year liberal art student. You're just like, this lady should have been your fucking champion, not your fucking enemy. Maybe they just thought she was Uggs too. (laughs) <laughs> oh, I wonder how much that does play a role How ugly someone is She's like the female Bukowski Fuck, he was an ugly cunt Charles Bukowski One of the fucking the ugliest Most disgusting creatures That has ever fucking landed on earth He's more ugly than she is But he still got pussy for sure I don't think that many people were throwing the fucking D in Ayn Rand. She was probably married for 70 years to Bukowski. Oh my God, that would have been the ugliest kid ever. (laughs) Ugh. Anyway, I'll fucking talk about Atlas Shrugged another day. I think this will get me through. I've only got to burn another three or four hours and then I can fucking do like a 12, 14 hour sleep. So, I'm going to fucking, I'm going to love you and leave you cunts. That'll do for today. If you're enjoying the podcast, give it a share around. And you know what? I'll see you the fuck later.